and welcome to the one day out, not only from my last show, but from prep as a whole. We are officially on our last day, Friday, I believe the third, if not mistaken. I don't even have a watch on right now, but let me double check, yeah. So it is, yep, Friday, November 3rd. So today we're not working out, we're doing light posing. Later today, then we need to go get our polygraph done as well as our spray tan, I think around three. It's about an hour drive, so we need to leave here around two. But real quick, this morning I did have a, a basic meal, once again, four ounces of chicken, 10 grams of peanut butter, seven rice cakes and our potatoes. We not have any cereal because we basically are just gonna do rice cakes today until this evening we get our spray tan on, send more pics to coach and kind of see. Our goal is to get 400 grams of carbs in by five, wait about a half hour, send some pics to coach and then see if we wanna bump those calories or I should say my carbs up anymore tonight or just leave those for tomorrow morning. But at this point, it's so close that I can just do basically whatever he tells me. I can finish strong. If we need to stay at 400 grams, I'm cool with it. If we wanna to go to 600, 700, I'm cool with that too. Just because I know as soon as I step off stage tomorrow, I'm gonna to go get some Krispy Kreme donuts and some food. And I think literally this weekend is just gonna be like a mini food tour, like a taste test tour. Obviously there are gonna be some things I eat like a lot of, like pizza, but there's also things I just wanna try a bunch of different random things. So very excited for that, but I also, didn't realize how much my family also likes chocolate rice cakes. So I'm out of chocolate rice cakes currently, but I need those for my next few meals. So we're gonna run to the grocery store real quick. And I also typically have a banana morning of my show. So I need some of that. So we're gonna do a very quick trip to the grocery store. I'm not gonna film it because I literally am getting my mom some milk, bananas, um, chocolate rice cakes, and then maybe Ben and Jerry's fish food if they have it, because I haven't been able to find that as many stores yet, and I really want to try that this weekend. But yeah, without further ado, we are officially one day out from not only my last show, but the end of prep. Because I've said, um, well yeah, now I've said I'm one day out four times, but this is the official last time I say that. Yeah, super stoked, very excited. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to sleep tonight because I'm gonna feel like a little kid on Christmas while the food coming tomorrow. But yeah, let's head to the grocery store. I'll show you guys what I get. So we just got back from the grocery store and I'll be honest right now, I am an absolute liability walking through that place. I'm looking and like, oh, I want that. I want that, I want that. Even after yesterday, went to Walmart as well as UDF to pick up, well, UDF is basically like a gas station, pick up a bunch of things to try. I got even more stuff. So I wanna show you guys what I got. So to start off, what the real reason I went to the grocery store was for rice cakes. So we got three things of chocolate rice cakes, which is awesome. So that'd be more than enough to get me through today as well as tomorrow's carb up, which is good. Also, my parents just left to go to Chicago for the weekend. So I don't think anybody else will be really eating um, too many uh, chocolate rice cakes. My dad, I know, likes those. We got some apples, because I love fruit. But this is the cream of the crop. This is what I walked by, and I was like, I just have to get that. Um, and it is <laughs> a giant, this thing's huge, absolutely massive thing of fruit. It looks like we got green grapes, um, purple grapes, strawberries, pineapple, honeydew, cantaloupe, and some watermelon. And this is what I'm actually probably gonna have like immediately post show. Cause once again, the big cheat day is on Sunday and Saturday. I wanna keep things relatively under control. I think this will be a huge helper in terms of once again, when I get off stage, yes, I'm gonna get a uh, Krispy Kreme donut, but like, only like maybe two or three, not a dozen. And then snack on this pretty much all day. So super, super excited about that. Then we also got, once again, I'm, I've am i missed my ice cream so much. So we got a few to try. Um, this is Katie's favorite. This is the Grater's Coconut Chip. So this is her favorite, so I had to get that for her. And then I wanna get two. Um, I couldn't find these at Walmart yesterday, so that's why I got these. But um, we do have some ice cream already in there from Grater's, but I wanted to try Ben and Jerry's. Um, which I haven't had before, or two I haven't had before. So we got fish food, which is that guy right there. It is, let's see, chocolate ice cream with gooey marshmallows, swirls, caramel swirls, and fudge fish, which sounds amazing. And then Ben and Jerry's half-baked peanut butter. So this also comes from Rhett and Link, along with, what, where'd they go? <laughs> Rhett and Link and Good Myth Good Morning um, are basically giving me all my ideas. The Pop-Tarts, so we decided to get the wild berry, because I actually just watched where they tried a gut check, where they tried every single Pop-Tart flavor, and this was their favorite. So now we have strawberry Pop-Tarts, we have the mixed berry Pop-Tarts, and the pumpkin pie Pop-Tarts to try, which I'm extremely excited about. And then, <laughs> we're like a little kid, but yeah, I walked by um, the Uncrustable section as well, and I just had to pick these up. So we got the strawberry and the grape Uncrustables right there. And once again, the great thing about 
basically this being the end of prep, it's not like I have one day and have to eat all six pints of ice cream in one single day. It's gonna be a taste test. It's gonna be, okay, I'm gonna have a bite of this, a bite of that, and I could have a bite of this and a bite of that for the next however long I want, right? I could for the, for the rest of my life, for the next three months. So I got things that basically aren't gonna go bad right away. Obviously we'll get some stuff at restaurants. But like this, I can only have two bites of this, but oh, that's really good. But if I don't love it, I don't need to finish the whole pint. Like it's not a 10,000 calorie challenge or anything like that. But yeah, that wraps up. I was thinking I just got a little thing of gum for my car as well. But yeah, um, I'm a liability walking to the grocery store right now. So luckily this was officially my last grocery haul before um, we once again start the reverse diet on Monday. Definitely gonna enjoy this weekend. Must be more of like a taste test and food tour than like a food challenge. Obviously we're gonna get a lot of calories in, but it's not like I'm gonna sit there and stuff my face and make myself sick, hopefully. Obviously we're gonna eat a lot of food. But yeah, just wanna show you guys what I got. But honestly, I'm most excited about this right now. Like I'm looking at this and like, I think I could eat this whole thing in, in one single sitting. And I very well might. But the good thing about this is it's a lot less calories than three pints of ice cream. But yeah, without further ado, um, at this point, I need to go make my bed since we need to change the sheets since I'm gonna get a tan tonight. So I need to go take my sheets off, put my new, or my not new, but my black sheets on my bed. We are tanned, or we're not tanned, we're shaved. Oh, I need to paint my nails. So um, to get that clear coat before the tan. Let's see, it's 10.30. Need to do some YouTube editing, a little bit of computer work, and then eventually we'll have our second meal before heading out to go do our polygraph, our tanning, and our check-in. But um, yeah, I'm so excited. I'm not, like it, it's so silly, but like I cannot wait just to have the opportunity or the option to eat this stuff. Like once again, I'm not gonna be eating entire pints of ice cream, but have the option to be like, oh, you know what? I just like wanna want a scoop of ice cream right now, or I want an apple, or stuff like that, where I just don't have to restrict myself, and I cannot wait. But yeah, once again, we're still a healthy person. I'll show you guys once again the whole recovery process. But yeah, without further ado, I'm gonna put all this stuff away and then I need to paint my nails. <laughs> <laughs> she looks like she's like waiting for something. She's like, what's going on? Nothing, Maisie. All right, but whoa, that's really zoomed in. I'm about to head out to go do my polygraph as well as get my spray tan and check in for my show. It is about a 50 minute drive, so yeah, I need to leave now to make my polygraph appointment and then get my tan and then come back. I'm two meals in out of four. So we're gonna do two meals. I'll do one more when I come back and then that'll be my 400 grams I need for my coach to take progress photos to see what meal five will actually entail as far as if I'm gonna add more carbs, maybe just have a chicken, stuff like that. But um, otherwise, yeah, once again, in 24 hours, I will be less than 24 hours. I will be done, which I'm very excited about because honestly, this is a part of the kind of comp, comp Competition, competition, competing, competing. Yes. I don't know, but like this is the part of like the competition I don't enjoy, like having to go do a polygraph test, do all this BS, step like get a spray tan, all that kind of stuff. But um, yeah. Without further ado, let's head out, and then I honestly don't think I'm gonna bring the camera just because I literally am not doing anything but just going to get a spray tan. I'll come back. I'm not taking any meals with me or anything like that. I will be taking my water with me though. Um, I've two of these down, so like two and a half almost. But yeah, I'll see you guys when I get back with a spray tan. All right, so we just got back from our spray tan. This is the first time though I've gotten a spray tan and they haven't done the face at all. So as you can see, we are definitely darker. I don't have decent lighting, so like lean enough. But yeah, they didn't spray my face at all, but we will be going back in the morning at 5.30 a.m. Uh, back up there to get a second coat. And I assume they might do the face then as well as the hands. But we're having our third meal of the day. We've got our seven rice cakes with our 10 grams of peanut butter. And then we've got our potatoes. We actually need to flip real quick. Um, in the air fryer, so our potatoes. Um, this is 200 grams of rusted potatoes. They're in the air fryer for 15 minutes at 400 degrees. I've been noticing I, I keep putting them in longer and longer because I like them to get crispier and crispier. Um, but yeah, we were checked in, we did the polygraph, um, which I didn't realize if I, if my polygraph was from Seattle, was two weeks within this show, I wouldn't have to had to redo it and pay this dude $60 to freaking do another polygraph. But unfortunately it was too far out. Um, we're also gonna have four ounces of chicken in this meal. Then we're gonna wait about half hour, send coach progress photos and see if we need to eat anything else. But yeah, so basically I need to wake up at 5 a.m. tomorrow. I need to cook some more chicken actually. So after I'm done air frying this, I'm gonna air fry some chicken. But I was just telling Katie, this is one of those scenarios where it's kind of unique because everyone always says, typically it's like, hey, you shouldn't be happy when you get a result, right? I'm gonna be happy when I have a car. I'm gonna be happy when I have the dream house. I'm gonna be happy when I have that dream job. Like enjoy the process. 
I can confidently say this is one situation where I will be extremely happy when this is over. Like, I, once again, the process, it's been a process, it's been a journey, but I can confidently say for the last probably three months, I, maybe two months, we'll say two months, I know I'll be happy when this is done. It's not a scenario of like, oh, I wanna enjoy the process and like day by day, I've literally been counting down, watching the clock, wishing time would go by faster to be done with this. And it's probably not the best mindset to have, but once again, I'll just be honest with you guys, transparent, and just, yeah, I have not been very uh, present lately. I've just been wanting this to be over with, just be done, move on. And I literally have had a smile on my face almost all day today, realizing that tomorrow I'm finally done and free. And it is, it's so exciting. And once again, yes, the food's gonna be exciting. Yes, um, having all these sweet treats and the donuts and the ice cream and the cake and everything will be fantastic. But more than anything, I'm just excited to be done with this, move on, not be so strict with myself, and get back to overall healthy, fit Jack that has a good balance of health fitness. Because once again, we're still gonna be healthy. We're still gonna have a journey. We're still gonna have um, full recipes, meal ideas, stay lean, all that kind of good stuff. But yeah, without further ado, I'm gonna have this final meal. I'll probably touch base with you guys maybe later tonight if there's anything else I can think of. But yeah, meal number three. Maybe I'll talk to you guys at meal number four and tell you guys what the coach told me to have. But yeah, I'm just excited to be done. So ready. We've been going back and forth with a coach, so a little bit of update. We are gonna have just some carbs. So the last meal, we're not having the chicken and peanut butter like I normally would. We're actually just gonna have some salty carbs because I sent him some progress photos and he thinks we're good on food. We just need a little bit of sodium. So because I wasn't salting my potatoes earlier, he's just like, let's go with a salty carb source. Luckily, my mom absolutely loves these. Let's, what, what are they? Um, sourdough hard pretzels, these like Snyder's pretzels, which are perfect because they have about 200 milligrams of sodium per pretzel and about 23 grams of carbs. And he said, go ahead and have 100 grams of carbs worth of pretzels. So that's what we're gonna have with a little bit of water. And then he is, yeah, just now sending over tomorrow's morning's plan as well as far as what we're gonna eat in the morning because the show is at 10. I'll probably be getting up around 5 a.m. because I go, go and get my second coat tan around 5.36. Um, yeah, so he's really typing that up right now, but yeah, that's the last thing we're gonna eat today is some carbs, some salty carbs, in order to get a little bit more sodium in our system, have a little bit of water, and hopefully wake up a little bit drier, a little bit more full and hard. But yeah, that's gonna wrap up today. One day out video, vlog, whatever you call this, full day of eating, kind of mix smash of stuff. But tomorrow morning, we wake up, and it is show day. It is also the end of prep. It is my final show. And we're gonna have a lot of food after prep, or not after prep, after the show tomorrow as well. So stay tuned for that. As well as some of my friends are actually gonna come to the show, which is awesome, that's in Cincinnati, because so far really only my family and Katie have been able to come to a show, and Isaac obviously in Seattle. But um, now that I'm in Cincinnati again, I'll hopefully have a couple of my buddies there, maybe take out for some donuts afterwards, something like that. And um, yeah, not sure, I might let Katie enjoy the show and not film, because I've done three shows now, you guys know exactly how I look. I might grab maybe a little um, either pre-stage photos or pre-stage videos, something like that, but I don't wanna make her film me on stage for the fourth time, but maybe might get just a few clips or maybe my routine or something. But without further ado, yeah, make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. See you guys next time, or I guess tomorrow. Peace, show day.